you know, Netflix is reportedly working on a To All The Boys spinoff series that's centered around Kitty. What do you know about it or what do you make of that? Whoa, um, man, I think that Kitty, I think it would totally make sense. I think Kitty is just one of the, I mean, she's truly just a scene stealer. And Catherine, that was weird. It's not my name, Kitty. Well, I mean, Catherine's kind of my name, but people don't call me that, call me Kitty. Oh. No one has approached me about it, or so I don't really know anything about it, but I remember the press, um, junket for the third movie everyone was asking her like is this something that you would be interested in and i would s totally support it if it's something that comes to light we'll have to wait to see the next chapter of to all the boys but in the meantime lana condor is hosting this year's virtual costume designers guild awards how much fun was it for you to decide what to wear for this it was so fun and this is a show that you can really just kind of go all out and really be fun and celebrate and take risks um, in fashion and and be loud in fashion. I wish that the show was like ten times longer so I could have like one billion costume changes. But you know right. what? We're 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 you know I'll, I'll settle. I'll settle. Obviously, because of your job, you get to interact and collaborate with a lot of amazing designers and stylists. How has that experience influenced your own style? But I think that like in my personal kind of day to day style, like I'm learning so much uh, from my stylist and I feel like something that's like very huge and important to me is particularly during this time but always has been is to wear pieces or support small locally owned businesses particularly ones that are um, that have Asian designers um, and and I feel like that's a huge part of something that's so important to me because I think what you wear is a really um, it's an extension of yourself. It's an extension of your own personality. And I, I really realized when I was doing the Tall the Boys movies that her, she dresses in a very, like, l much louder than she is as a real human, as like just her persona. And I think mm -hmm. it's just a way to express like your inner, you know, you know, your inner whatnots. And so something that's like important is to, for me to wear clothes that I feel emotionally connected with. The world keeps shifting under my feet. All I want is for it to stand still. I gotta tell you, the third installment of To All The Boys I Loved Before was exactly what my heart needed, but it also made me sad because it's over. Yeah. You were the face of this beloved franchise, which by the way, put a fierce female Asian character at the forefront. I mean, now that your time on the franchise for now is done, what would you say has been the most rewarding part about being, uh, you know, being part of this amazing and impactful role. The biggest blessing that has come from all of it is the people that I get to meet on the streets who come, come up to me at Trader Joe's, let's say, or like whatever, and they come up to me and they immediately want to share with me their, the way that they could relate to the films and the way that they were seen um, and represented in those films. And so I learned so much about strangers. like. I like just so much about strangers and I think that's something that I've always loved. I love people and I and I love to hear their stories. So I think that has been a really, really big gift. And it's also given me, you know, the opportunity to, you know, host the show, which is crazy. Like I never thought that like I would be doing this. I'm curious as you begin your next chapter in your career, how are you using your platform and your voice to propel Asian talent in particular or Asian stories moving forward? And it might sound a little bit dramatic, but I do believe that I was put on this earth to make people feel a little less alone. Like, I believe that I love to entertain people, but I want to do it in a way that feels like meaningful and feels like people can be seen and not feel um, weird or, or not, or ostracized in any way. So moving forward, and I've done this throughout my career, but now more than ever, moving forward, the projects that I have lined up all show fully flushed, three-dimensional, beautiful Asian American stories and mm. are not leaning into the stereotypes or the false narratives that I think I've heard before um, sure. in the world. And so I'm very specific about what I choose because I, I, it representing is not something that I 
shy away from. It's something that right. I genuinely feel like is my passion and something that I love. Is there anything that you're seeing out there from the Asian American community that gets you excited about the future? There has been a lot of sorrow and a lot of heaviness um, and I and a lot to process and, and grieve and work through. But I always try and see a little bit of a silver lining, seeing you know, friends and family and even people marching in the street that I don't know coming to me and, and even if they didn't know what's been going on, coming to me and being like, I'm so sorry and now I know and now I'm going to continue to shut the hatred down. Um, so that makes me hopeful. That makes me hopeful that we are being ignored um, as much as I think the violence against Asians have been in the past. I'm seeing a lot of people who I never really even thought would reach out or would care or have these conversations with their families do so. So yeah. I think that that is really, you know, um, I think that that is, that's that silver lining. And I, I choose to be optimistic because if, I, if I'm if i not, then I'm not gonna get out of bed, right? So, right. I, exactly. so yeah. I think more now than ever, it's so important to preserve, to protect and to celebrate the AAPI community, especially Absolutely. in Hollywood. So someone's gotta do it and I'm glad it's you. You um, just gotta step in the room and be like, come on people, okay, get your life. Okay, let's do it. <laughs>